I'm going to show you five ornaments that you can make yourself and best of all it'll leave your recipients feeling special this Christmas. For these adorable laminated ornaments you'll need self-sealing laminating pouches or you can use thermal laminating pouches if you have a laminator machine. You'll need to print out a photo in about a two to three inch size. This depends on your photo so you may have to play around with the sizing a bit. I printed this out on glossy brochure paper. You can also print this out on glossy photo paper, but I just had brochure paper on hand. You'll need some scissors. You'll need some white acrylic paint. You can also get green if you want to add evergreen trees to your scene. And then you'll also need some paint brushes. You'll need a really wide one and then a slightly thinner one. You'll also need a pen and a jar lid. Start by cutting around the person in your picture, then set this aside. Now open up your laminating pouch and trace the lid on the side that is not sticky. Using your wide paintbrush, paint on some slopes of snow. Next, using your thin paintbrush, dot on some snow. After you've done this, take your photo and place it to look like they're sitting or, or standing in the snow. Gently press it down and leave this to dry completely. After it dries, remove the sticky backing on your laminating sheet and use a ruler to press the back to the front to, let it, to have it adhere. So now I did go ahead and cut the sticky side because I wasn't using the whole laminating sheet. I just needed uh, the portion that I was using to, to stick on and adhere. I didn't want to waste the whole laminating sheet. Now just make sure everything's pressed together. Use your ruler and um, you know slide it across and just in between the pictures and just make sure that you get everything to adhere really well. Then once everything is adhered, take your scissors and cut around the outline that you made in the first step. So when you're done, it should look like this. Punch a hole with a single hole puncher. I found mine at the dollar store and it works really well. Cut some ribbon, string, or thread. I got the stretchy cording at the dollar store as well. And you'll want to cut a piece, fold it over, thread the end through the hole, and back through the looped end. So you're going to leave a looped end when you're threading. And then that way you'll uh, be able to attach your threading to your ornament. Then give it a knot on the top, and when you're done, it'll look like this. Next up is another photo ornament made from clear ornaments from the Dollar Tree. You'll also need a photo that's again about two inches to three inches uh, in size and with a horizontal orientation like this one. Just cut out your photo, roll it up enough to fit through the neck of the ornament, take off the ornament top and slide it into the ornament, use your tweezers to open out the photo and position it just the way you want it so that the photo shows on the front. Pop the top back on and there you have it, a simple sentimental gift ornament. For the next ornament, we'll be making these personalized music ornaments. You'll need clear ornaments that open in half. Print out a sheet of music. I did a Google search for this one. You're going to cut off the margins of your paper and then cut your paper into one inch strips along the shorter side. Then use your scissors to curl the paper just as you would gift ribbon. Fill up both sides of the ornament with your curls, then carefully snap them shut and place the top back on. To finish it off, you can use your gold sharpie to write the name. These ornaments are perfect for anyone, but they especially make a great gift for teachers or any music lover. Next is this really simple sequin ornament that takes less than five minutes to make and costs only about two dollars. You're going to get one of the clear ornaments from the Dollar Tree and these sequin packs also from the Dollar Tree. Pull off the top of the ornament, fill your ornament. Now there are three ways you can do this. The first is to just pour and you can see that I got a lot of sequins that did not make it into the ornament when I did it this way. So the second way is to use a funnel if you have one. 
And the third way is to just use a sheet of paper to create a funnel and that's what I did. And I used the glass to hold the ornament in place while I poured. This worked really well for me. Once you've filled the ornament about a third of the way, snap the lid back on and use your Sharpie to write the name or the year or both on your ornament. You can use a black Sharpie, you can use a red Sharpie, you can use uh, the gold or the silver. It really doesn't matter. It's all up to your preference. This ornament will glitter and shimmer. It's perfect for that person who loves a touch of glam. Up next is a similar ornament, but instead of using shiny sequins, you're going to use the tiny styrofoam balls you can find at the Dollar Tree that look like snow. For this one, I suggest using a funnel to get the balls into the ornament. They are really staticky and they will stick to your fingers and just about any surface uh, that it comes in contact with. So the funnel uh, will make it a little easier to get them into your ornament. Fill it about half to three quarters of the way up or you can fill it up completely. It's totally up to you. Just do what looks good to you. Write your name with that gold sharpie again or you can use black. Black works really well against the white snow and now you have a cute winter themed ornament you can give to anyone on your list. I hope this video leaves you feeling inspired and motivated to make these really easy ornaments that are really affordable. I'll see you soon.